that video was supposed to say, they're back from the Poltergeist movies. Uh, I thought it was just cute because I've already taken this class like some of you have, and that was my little hook that didn't work. Can you put the next slide, please? Okay, here's my family. Um, I have my mom who was when I was the most afraid in my life at my dad's house, I would always have my phone on me. Three seconds, she's on the phone. Half an hour, she's at the house. Something's going on, I know she's there for me. For that, I'm going to be forever grateful. Um, but she's turning into one of those parents that watches MTV more than the children do. And it's like, Mom, I don't want to watch Teen Mom with you. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is on the end, my sister Kendra. When we were little, we were, like, we were close. We would wake up at 5 in the morning before we knew that was way too early and go downstairs, watch Sailor Moon together, and play Super Mario Bros. on our Super Nintendo. And then she grew up and kind of became a bitch. But I will look past that because I'm sure she'll mature again in the future. And then in the middle is my little brother that I can't see anymore because of the custody arrangement with. I can't go to my father's because he's been abusive. He is still at the age where he attaches to someone and does what they do. When I started playing the piano, he had to get a keyboard. When I started drawing, he had to start drawing. And I'm just afraid that he's going to start doing things that my stepbrother are doing, which he's a little, he, my stepbrother's a little shit. So I want Rogan to stay as pure as I remember him, because I'm not going to be able to see him until he's 18 years old. Here are the things that I like and I don't like. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to read all of them. I like Alfred Hitchcock's like old movies. Uh, I specifically like Marilyn Monroe. I think it's just funny to watch some of the old movies. Some of them are actually really good. I, I'm addicted to Twitter and YouTube. This, I drew this myself. I draw a lot over the summer. I don't usually do it during school. My favorite movie is Big Fish. I love bow ties. <laughs> That's just an obsession of mine. We went to New York and we went to H&M. I now have a membership to H&M and there's one, the nearest one is in like 50 miles. What is H&M? It's like Kohl's, but okay. better. It's got better clothes for cheaper prices. I just, I don't know. Cool. Next. And this is something I just recently drew. I kind of like that, so I put it in there. Yeah. Um, I miss the things that I don't like back there. And it's the Westboro Baptist Church and people who are too confident that their confidence is making you feel less confident. I guess if someone like, I can't remember your name, <laughs> Caleb is being like, I'm the best runner ever, and Sean is like, oh, I want to run, but I can't be as good as Caleb. I don't like that. Sean should be able to be as good as he wants to be and not worry about anybody else. Uh, these are the ups of this past year. Uh, we went to New York City, and I say about every 10 steps I took in New York, Mom, I'm living here someday. Mom, get your wallet out, I'm living here someday. Mom, I'm living here someday. I'm living there someday, obviously. I got the lead in the play here, the Susical. Not many people came, which is really kind of sad, but I had so much fun doing it. It was a great show, and now whenever I go to the Broadway Theater in Mount Pleasant to watch shows, directors are like, oh, you need to audition for this, oh, you need to audition for that, I'd love for you to help with this. Well, that's always fun. Those two people, I can't remember their names, but they're Broadway actors. When we were in New York, they did this little talk to us. I was the first one after we left. I went up to both of them, shook their hand, and said, I will meet you again. And I was like nervous and like shaking afterward, and I'm like, oh, I did it. Um, we went to see Phantom of the Opera, which any of you who've seen the movie, the movie is really good. Some of the parts are OK. But in like live Broadway, there's a giant chandelier that drops. I just thought that was the coolest part. There's like gunshots and fire. It's I love it. <laughs> Things that I don't like. I've already talked about this for the angry thing, the policeman that was awful. 
he basically said, I'm going to kick your ass and then get away with it, which I don't think is right. Um, when it, before I came out, I was, talk, I was in band class with certain people. Wait, can I say their names since they're not in here anymore? <clears throat> Rady Rabbis is a synonym. <laughs> and I don't know, he, I don't think he was directly just doing it to put me down, but he would pick on me every single day. I didn't really know what to do. I didn't want to talk to someone because I would be a snitch. And I ended up burning myself for a while. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm stupid. <laughs> And towards the end of it, I had a cataclysmic affair with a bottle of aspirin. I tried to kill myself, but I threw up all over my shoes. And I know that was like end of that. After that, I came up to my sister, and things just got progressively better. But the day after I tried to kill myself, I had to go back to school. And a week after my father had abused me, I had to go back to school. So when I look at myself in the mirror, I automatically imagine a crack, because this isn't really how I'm feeling all the time. I have the bow ties, I have my glasses, I'm always smiling, doing a stupid grin, but sometimes I just don't want to be here. Sometimes I'm really sad, but I'm not going to depress all of you. I'm here to be happy and learn. My future. Right now, I'm in try-hard mode because freshman year, I was kind of, eh, whatever. I'll skip as many classes as I can because it's freshman year. That didn't go too well with my parents. Um, in the future is college. I want to go, I want to go to New York, but that's super expensive. <coughs> so my sister is thinking about moving to Chicago. I think I'll move in with her and go to a performing arts school in Chicago. <coughs> My throat is really dry. And in the middle of my life is all up to chance. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. My I could want I could wind up on Broadway. My mother could get sick and I could end up spending the rest of my life taking care of her. I don't know. And the only thing that's certain is death. So that's the end of it. Um, and people ask me right now, what are you gonna do with your life? What are you gonna do? And this is my response about what my life is. What is my life about? What is my life about? <laughs> Ooh, ah. That's Jenna Marbles, if you guys didn't know that. She's on YouTube again, I'm addicted. Because I really don't know what my life is going to be about. I am me, a quote from V for Vendetta, still one of my favorite books, and it just sums up me. Cool. Next. <laughs> no, we're done. <laughs> Clap. <laughs>